Hello from Olden Goldens, and welcome back to our channel. Recently, we have received somber news about the passing of some extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. We will also recap the stars we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. The entertainment world mourns the loss of Erica Ash, a brilliant luminary whose versatility spanned comedy, television, and film. At the age of 46, Erica's vibrant presence has been tragically dimmed, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and profound impact. Known for her dynamic roles on Mad TV and Survivor's Remorse, Erica brought an infectious energy and sharp wit that resonated deeply with audiences and peers alike. Erica's journey in the spotlight was marked by her extraordinary ability to embody diverse characters, seamlessly blending humor and depth. Her portrayal on the Big Gay Sketch Show showcased her as a fearless performer, unafraid to push boundaries and explore the nuances of comedy. Erica's role in Survivor's Remorse solidified her status not just as a comedic talent, but as a powerful, dramatic actress, capturing the complexities of life with every line delivered. Her sudden departure has elicited heartfelt tributes from across the entertainment industry. Lonnie Love, a close friend and colleague, expressed her profound sorrow on social media, reminiscing about Erica's unwavering dedication to her craft and the warmth she brought to every set and stage. Erica was talented and hilarious. She would put her all into her work, Love shared, reflecting the sentiment of many who worked alongside Erica. BT, where Erica delivered memorable performances in shows like in Contempt and Real Husbands of Hollywood, honored her as equal parts witty and funny, a testament to her ability to leave a lasting impression on her audience and her peers. Erica's work not only entertained, but also inspired, making her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. A beloved figure in the world of entertainment. While the details of her untimely passing remain private, the outpouring of love and grief from fans and friends alike underscores the void Erica leaves behind. As the curtains close on her vibrant life, her spirit and artistic legacy continue to inspire those who knew her and admired her work from afar. Rest in peace, Erica Ash. Your laughter and light will be dearly missed, but your influence on the world of entertainment will endure forever. Ian Gelder, a distinguished British actor known for his versatility in both stage and screen roles, passed away at the age of 74 due to complications from bile duct cancer. Born in Gloucestershire on June 3, 1949, Gelder's passion for acting led him to adopt his mother's maiden name as his stage name, embarking on a prolific career that would span decades. Gelder's talent shone brightly in television, most notably as Mr. Decker in Torchwood Children of Earth and as the steadfast Kevin Lannister in HBO's Game of Thrones. His portrayal of Kevin Lannister brought a nuanced representation of loyalty and morality to the epic saga, earning him acclaim and the affection of fans worldwide. His return to the series after a three-year hiatus was met with great enthusiasm, highlighting his significant impact on the series' narrative. His contributions to the stage were equally impactful. Gelder's performance in Titus Andronicus at Shakespeare's Globe Theater and his numerous other theatrical roles showcased his dynamic range and deep understanding of character and text. His role in The Low Road and other productions displayed his ability to handle both classic and contemporary material with equal finesse. Gelder's personal life was filled with love and companionship, sharing his life with actor Ben Daniels, whom he met in 1993. The couple's relationship was both a personal and professional cornerstone for Gelder. Daniels' dedication during Gelder's illness exemplified their deep bond, with Daniels remarking on Gelder's bravery in facing his challenging final days. Ian Gelder's legacy is marked by his profound contributions to the arts, his courageous battle with illness, and his enduring influence on audiences and fellow artists. His performances, marked by intelligence and emotional depth, will remain a benchmark for excellence in acting. Michael Gambon, an iconic figure of the British stage and screen, passed away at the age of 82 after a bout of pneumonia. Born in Dublin in 1940, Gambon's illustrious career spanned over six decades, during which he became one of the most respected and versatile actors of his generation. Knighted in 1998 for his services to drama, 
Gambon's legacy in the theatrical world is profound. He was an original member of the Royal National Theatre, handpicked by Laurence Olivier, which set the foundation for a career filled with memorable performances. Gambon's mastery of complex roles across a wide spectrum of genres made him a favorite not only among his peers, but also among audiences worldwide. His portrayal of characters in Shakespeare's plays like Macbeth and Coriolanus won him critical acclaim. But it was his role as Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter film series that introduced Gambon to a new generation of fans. His Dumbledore was both wise and whimsical, embodying the beloved wizard with a perfect balance of gravity and lightheartedness. Perfect balance of gravity and lightheartedness. On television, Gambon's performances were equally powerful, earning him four BAFTA TV awards, notably for The Singing Detective in Cranford. His ability to bring depth and nuance to his television roles demonstrated his exceptional skill and adaptability. Beyond his professional achievements, Gambon was known for his sharp wit and private nature, often bringing a touch of his own personality to his roles. Despite his fame, he maintained a level of mystery about his personal life, preferring to let his work speak for itself. Sir Michael Gambon leaves behind a rich legacy that includes three Olivier Awards, several memorable film roles, and countless stage appearances. His impact on the performing arts and his ability to touch the hearts of audiences around the world will not be forgotten. Shelley Duvall, an American actress and producer renowned for her distinctive characters and deep impact on the film industry, passed away from complications of diabetes at the age of 75. Passed away from complications of diabetes at the age of 75. Born in Texas, Duvall was catapulted into the cinematic world by director Robert Altman, who was captivated by her unique presence and cast her in his 1970 film, Brewster McCloud. This marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration that saw her starring in several of Altman's critical successes, including McCabe and Mrs. Miller in Nashville. Duvall's portrayal of eccentric and nuanced characters earned her a Cannes Film Festival Award, a BAFTA nomination, and two Emmy nods, underscoring her versatile acting prowess. Her performance in Altman's Three Women is particularly revered, highlighting her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and depth. Beyond Altman's films, Duvall is perhaps best remembered for her role as Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's iconic horror film, The Shining, where her portrayal of escalating terror and resilience remains a standout. Her career also extended into the realm of children's television, where she created, produced, and hosted shows like Fairy Tale Theater, bringing classic stories to life for a new generation. This venture not only showcased her creativity, but also her dedication to enriching children's entertainment. Duvall's influence extended beyond the screen. Her later years were marked by a retreat from public life, focusing on personal well-being and reconnecting with her roots in Texas. Despite facing health challenges, her legacy in film continues to inspire audiences and actors alike. Duvall's innovative spirit and memorable performances have secured her a permanent place in the annals of film history, remembered as a pioneering woman who brought depth and authenticity to every role. Breaking news of the day. At the age of 70, the iconic Mr. T celebrated for his roles in the A-Team and as a WUF wrestler, stands as a symbol of enduring strength and resilience. Recently, Mr. T shared his victorious battle against cancer, emphasizing that the disease has met its match against his indomitable spirit. Diagnosed with a rare type of T-cell lymphoma in 1995, Mr. T encountered cancer as ferociously as he did any opponent on screen or in the ring. With his condition detected after noticing a lump while removing an earring, the diagnosis was as personalized as it was challenging. Cancer with my name on it, personalized cancer, he remarked. Despite the initial success of radiation treatment, his cancer returned with a vengeance, manifesting physically across his body. This led to a rigorous treatment regime, including chemotherapy and interferon therapy, a testament to his never-surrender attitude. Mr. T's journey has been fraught with ups and downs marked by physical pain and profound insights. Through it all, his philosophy has remained unchanged. Through it all, his philosophy has remained unchanged. I pity the fool who just gives up. His battle strategy against cancer has been about living vigorously, urging others to fight with tenacity and not passively await fate. 
Lymphoma, his adversary, is a complex enemy. As Mr. T's type falls under non-Hodgkin lymphoma, it presented unique challenges and required specific treatment approaches. His resilience not only highlights his personal strength, but also casts a spotlight on the importance of understanding and addressing this type of cancer. Today, Mr. T continues to defy the odds, living life to the fullest and maintaining his role as a motivational figure. He reminds us all that, with determination and support, life's battles are not just fought, they are won. As he puts it, we can be living with cancer, not dying from it. We can be cancer survivors.